Mr. Investilot, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about Bio Nano Genomics. So you know the festival's coming up, right? These guys just done the cheeky cheeky and they cancelled my damn ticket. They cancelled me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I can go to that event and I'm going to make sure I deliver that content to you guys. So today I want to talk about a few catalysts that I think I missed. We're going to talk about price analysts. We're going to talk about the boom and drop today. We're also going to talk about optical mapping and also DNA sequencing and how I think that they have a patent that may be able to make them do both. Oh, we've been doing so well today. Literally been, been running up some all time highs. I think we hit $13.65 it says here. So I'm going to be bringing you all that good stuff, all that good content. But before we begin, I'd just like to say thank you so much to all of my true supporters and my boss level investors. Whoever clicked join on my channel, I thank you so much. Shout out to UTMG Capital and shout out to you Joseph for always supporting me. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate every single one of you supporters. If you'd like to support my channel, all you have to do is click join up here. It's only 99 cents a month and you help me create great content like this. And I'll try and bring you all the daily updates, all the juicy news. But if you're unable to join my channel, just you clicking like on this video and subscribing to me is enough for me. Thank you so much guys, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about this festival of genomics in the UK and what they just did to me. Yep. Listen, my bio nano brothers and sisters, you know what they just did? They just cancelled me. Yes, they cancelled Mr. Investolo. My bingo buddies, this cancel culture has gone just too far, but I'm going to make sure I try and get into that festival and I'm going to get all the juicy news and bring it to you here. So remember, I made a previous video that you could sign up for free as an investor. You all saw it. It says free there. They went and cancelled the festival genomic ticket that they gave me. Here you go. Here's your festival genomic ticket. Thank you very much. So I went back here and tried to see what's the reason why they would cancel my ticket. They already said I'm verified and I'm approved. And then I saw here, registrations from personal email accounts are automatically cancelled. So what I managed to find out is they actually changed the pricing. So this was the reason why. So NHS still free, PhD students still free, undergraduate masters students £20, investors are now £100 tickets. And content only tickets are £250 and there's only one ticket left. So I have this window open from the other day. We can see how far our beloved bingo has come. You can see that we came here from $9.80, 18% up the next day. After hours it went up and now it just changed. We're on $12.73. Also today, I wanted to bring this to your attention. This is very interesting here. You see, we reached the height of about $13.65 and then here we were at 12 All of a sudden there was this drop off and this was an insane drop. It looked like it dropped like 30% because I think we were like 36% up or something like that. And all of a sudden we had a massive drop down to here within minutes. But with all the anticipation of what's going on, we literally recovered back and we're now up still 29%. Also, I wanted to do some research today on a, a comment that was dropped. And someone said that there's a patent that they have in the comments and it said it's about optical mapping, but also they may be able to do other features. So here we saw back in August, June, August, Bio Nano Genomics announces issuance of US patent for combined nano channel nanopore device. So here it says the patent describes how the nano detector could detect DNA sequence information. It can detect the presence or absence of chemical modifications or specific labels attached to the DNA using a variety of detection technologies and how such nano channel detector combination array called a nano nozzle device can be manufactured. So I actually wanted to look at the patent of the device and see what it says within it. And then we came into this. This is the nano nozzle device arrays, their preparation and use for macro molecular analysis. So we went into the SEC website, we wanted to take a look at this and they were talking about the Sapphire system. And then when they talked about this nano nozzle device, they were saying that it could detect DNA sequence information. So thank you to Kevin for telling me to go on to Reddit and actually join the bingo Reddit group. And I saw here, some guy was breaking down. He says he's a scientist. He was breaking down basically the difference between PacBio and Illumina and the DNA sequencing and how they have reads and also optical mapping. So optical mapping differs from DNA sequencing in many ways. So he described optical mapping, which is what the Sapphire system does, is like think of it skimming through a book and highlighting a word every time you see it, but you never read the book itself. So they look for those specific markers to show you which disease you have. Whereas PacBio and Illumina both read out the sequence of DNA base for base using relatively short fragments of the genome. That technique is called DNA sequencing. So will the Sapphire system also be able to do reads like the DNA sequencing that PacBio and Illumina does? If somebody's a scientist, hit me up in the comments below. Please explain this and break this down. Can this nano nozzle 
now do the DNA sequencing that PacBio and Illumina can do? Because if so, this Sapphire machine is becoming more and more attractive. It's becoming sexy. So is this device turning into a jack of all trades where they can attach the nano nozzle and actually do the DNA sequencing reads? And when we look at bio nano genomics, we can actually see that the patent is part of its uh, intellectual property portfolio, but this already includes 100 issued patents and numerous patent applications that cover its core technology. So these guys are continually innovating and they're looking at ways they can always improve the machine. They're creating little attachable devices like the nano nozzle in which they can do different features with the machine. So if these guys are continually innovating within genomics, and not only can they spot certain recognition sites that other machines can't, but if they can actually go and attach nano nozzles and improve their system and do what other machines can do, do what PacBio can do, do what Illumina can do, they can literally create a jack of all trades ultimate machine. And this is what they started talking about on their Twitter. This is Joe Butler. He's passionate about genomics and he actually works for the structural variation company BioNanoGenomics. So today he released this tweet. He was talking about karyotyping, microarray and fish. These are the gold standard for looking at large structural variations until now. Sapphire, one tech to rule them all, one tech to find them, one tech to bring them all together, and in the light, we find them. And then this guy puts a Lord of the Rings gif in there. What a man. So in terms of this bingo stock, what am I expecting for tomorrow? I expect this stock to boom. Remember, this is not financial advice, this is for entertainment only, but I believe it's gonna boom. And do you know why I think it's gonna boom? Reason being is they've got BioNano's chief medical officer present there, with the Sapphire machine and she's going to be showing stuff. And the thing about Dr. Alka is she was previously head of cytogenomics at Perkin Elmer's Genomics. And what Dr. Chalby did was actually successfully lead development and launch several innovative products. So tomorrow, will Dr. Alka Chaudi actually show something that we've never seen before? Will she show a new innovation that they've created with the machine? We don't know, this is all speculation, but she's the CMO and she's notoriously known for success in innovation within genomics. So guys, this is breaking. This is from Joe Butler, who is an employee at BioNano Genomics. And he's just shared this retweet and it said that this thread just popped up on my news feed. We've been developing algorithms to combine BioNano Genomics with short reads to resolve complex cancer structural variants. Combining data from these two technologies seems quite promising. So I'm trying to figure out, are they saying that they've created this uh, computational method AR, amblicon reconstruction, and it's a complementary kind of way for you to do optical mapping next to next generation sequencing. Is that what they're talking about? So they're talking about optical mapping is what the Sapphire machine does, right? They look at biomarkers for disease, and this is for long DNA fragments, but they're combining this with next generation sequencing is something that Illumina does. So I think what they're showing is it's complementary, but what I want to know was that can the nano nozzle, which we discussed earlier, can that nano nozzle do both of them? Can you attach that to the Sapphire machine and you're able to do the next generation sequencing, the short reads alongside uh, the optical mapping? And what do we see throughout January? This is Fintel. We were checking the institutional ownership and we just see buy, buy, buy and hold. We've only seen a few exits, but most of these is Vanguard Group loading up 5 million, another 5 million shares here, and some people opening even new positions. And if we take a look here, it says Fidelity, 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 Fidelity in different index funds. So when this NASDAQ site finally gets updated, we're probably going to see there's a lot of active positions and a lot of held positions with uh, institutions. So we'll probably see a lot more institutions piling into bingo. So guys, whether or not ARK Invest gets involved with bio nano genomics, and I think they will get involved. This is just my opinion, entertainment only, but I think they will get involved with this. Uh, but whether or not they do, the Sapphire machine and bio nano genomics has a place within the industry. And we can see all these professionals super bullish about it. I'm super bullish about it. You guys are obviously bullish about it. Look at this. Look at where we've come from. We've come from like less than under a dollar to where we are now. Oh, baby. So guys, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your price predictions. What do you think about tomorrow? And make sure you subscribe to this channel and you click the notifications because I'm going to try and get into that genomics festival and I'm going to try and bring you the content. So hopefully just wait on me for tomorrow and let's see if I can deliver. Mr. Investalot, thank you very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys. Always remember, if you're able to support my channel by clicking join, it's only 99 cents a month. But if you're unable to, just you clicking like and clicking subscribe means the world to me. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Mr. Investalot, over and out, baby.